Hello everyone, this video will demonstrate the Cloud CMA product called CMA. I will show you how to create a Cloud CMA from Paragon. My name is Gary Arnett and I'm your trainer today. We're going to talk about the benefits of a Cloud CMA CMA. How to create a Cloud CMA CMA starting in Paragon, publishing your Cloud CMA, and then the help site for Cloud CMA. There are actually four tools you'll be getting in Cloud CMA. They are a CMA, a buyer's tour, a property report, and a property flyer. The Cloud CMA products have been designed with a tablet in mind. It is ideal using your tablet to show your presentations like a flyer, a property report, or your CMA using your tablet. And although designed for a tablet, it works very nicely on your computer as well as your tablets. Landscape or horizontal is the best orientation for showing your presentation. Cloud CMA has a contemporary look for that look and feeling of its report designs. You can also email your CMA to your sellers. There's a lot of great data and reports created inside your Cloud CMA. And it is customizable, not only on what you want to create on a CMA by CMA basis, but you can create a template. That way, as you're doing repetitive CMAs down the road, the different things that you're wanting are already there ready for you, making your creation of a CMA presentation very simple and easy to do. And you do have a customizable resume, cover letter, company information, proper reports, and more. And you can also customize what reports to include or not include in your CMA presentation. Now, as you're using Cloud CMA for the very first time, you're going to need to set up your account. Complete the form, click on the Agree box down at the bottom of the page, and once you've done that, then the Place Order and Create My Account button will become available. Click on it. As you do that, you'll then be taken to a page where you'll put in your contact information, upload your agent image and office logo. Now, as you're moving down the page, there's a field that's called the BRE number field. You can go ahead and leave that blank. As you're working through your Cloud CMA in your settings area, you can create a password for your Cloud CMA account. With that covered, let's go take a look at how you would create a Cloud CMA CMA starting in Paragon. I'm inside one of my demo databases and I've got a search criteria screen with values already put into the search criteria screen that matches the subject property I'm wanting to list. So with that criteria in, let me go ahead and click on search to see the result. On the results page, remember you need to select listings that you want to send to Cloud CMA for your CMA presentation. I typically select all the properties inside the results page and then using different reports available to me inside the reports button, I then go through and verify that the properties I've selected are ones I want to use. If not, uncheck the box to come up with the exact comps that you want to use for your presentation. With the comps selected, come up to Actions, hover over it, and move all the way down to the very bottom. There you'll see Cloud CMA CMA. Go ahead and click on that button. As you do that, the Cloud CMA page will open up on the CMA tab. Notice you also have access to the Buyer's Tour, Property Report, and Property Flyer. Let's stay on the CMA. As you look at the page, there's some information that Cloud CMA wants you to put in. First of all, notice in the lower left-hand corner, all the properties I selected to be my comparables have already been brought in. Let's start at the top of the page. We need to put in a client information, who the client's name is, any notes, but these notes are private and do not appear on any of the CMA reports. This is information for you. You'll then put in subject property information. Let me go ahead and do that. With the description in of the subject property, basic details about that subject property, you've added information for your subject property. Notice on the side I've given the report a name, the presentation a name, some information that I need to know about the selling of this home, and I'm now ready to fetch my listings. By clicking on Fetch Listings, Cloud CMA is going out, gathering those comparable properties, and bringing them to the point where I can then customize what I want to do for my CMA. Let me go ahead and do some customizing. As a part of my customizing, I can organize things according to the different fields that are displayed in this listing information. I can make it ascending or descending, and also notice I'm giving a quick spreadsheet about what's going on with my properties. All properties, active properties and sold properties, and then we have a low, median, 
average high and projected value per square foot. We can also then drop in our suggested list price and then by clicking on update that information is added. On the side we have some summary of information. There are three active and nine sold properties. Again, summary of prices are then given low, median, average, and high. I have a map of where all my comparable properties are at and then as I move on down I have each of my comparable properties. As I'm looking at this I can click on details and adjustment and see details about the property including all of the different photos related to this property. As I continue on down I've got the remarks, the amenities of the property and then if I want to add an adjustment I can do that. I've added an adjustment for a workshop its value and by clicking on add notice that it's been added. I can delete any adjustment that I've made and I can make numerous adjustments for each of the comparable properties to make them as similar as possible to my subject property and I can then do that for every one of my comparable properties. Once I've made the adjustment and again decided which properties I want to include or maybe exclude by removing a check mark I can then move over to customizing of the report. By clicking on the Customize Report button, I'm now taken over to the report where I can now go in and give more details to this particular report. In giving details to this report and how I want it to be set up before I publish it, notice that there's an introductory section. I also have the ability to click on the plus sign to include this in my report. When it comes to the guidance section, again, if I want to include selling your home, negotiating with buyers, how CMAs can vary, I can then click on the plus buttons and add those to it. Plus, if I want to add custom pages, here I have a custom page. As I move over to the basic re reports inside this CMA, I have these red buttons off to the side as I hover over them. If I want to remove this from the standard CMA presentation, I can do that. Notice these textured areas on the side. I can drag and drop any of these reports into any order that I want them to be in. Notice like on cover letter, resume, company information, it is editable. So by clicking on edit, I can now come in and put in details about this particular bit of information. Once I've got it done, I click on save. It's now saved and I move back to my CMA. When it comes to the main items of the report, if I want to edit anything, it's best to come over to settings and edit that before you actually get into an actual CMA presentation. But as I move on down, notice how I have these remove buttons all the way through. As I get down to the part that deals with each individual listing, I have a page that deals with the details. I also have the first dozen photos. If I want to have no additional photos, I can click on the red button and remove the photos from my list of uh, pictures that are being shown and reducing the number of pages of my CMA. I can, if I want, not show adjustments pages and by clicking on the remove button it's then removed and this sets up for all properties. As you continue on down we have additional properties you can work with. Again, edit is best done when you're working in the settings section of the report. As I've completed the customizing of my CMA, I then move over to the Publish button. Also notice we have the Progress toolbar here across the top. If you want to go to any particular place, just click on the link. When you're ready to publish, click on Publish Report. As you can see, the Publish Report has been processed and it's now ready to view. Let me go ahead and click on View. The report is now ready to look at. You can see here at the top, I have 23 pages in my report. As I scroll on down, you can see that the report has been done up for Randy Whipple, living at 12345 Santa Fe Trail, and because I did not change the date, it's set up for today's date. My information is shown at the bottom, and then I would have my resume, information about my company, what is a CMA, and by scanning this QR code, it makes it easy to download this report to a smartphone. And we have a map. Notice that zero, this first feather here down uh, south in Kansas City, that is where my subject property is at. And then I have all my comparables gathered around. Now with you being in town, these uh, pins are going to be very close to each other. and You'll then be able to easily see that the subject property and the comparable properties are right next to each other. As you move on down, you can see the different details about each of the comparable properties. 
Again, we have the different reports related to, and here we have one of the properties. Some of the other properties. Here's some comparable property statistics. Some more property analysis. And then we have some of the additional reports. These are ones that you would just choose to use and not necessarily that you could edit the content on it. Some good information for the sellers they prepare to show their home and be a part of that marketing. And with this complete, you now have your presentation, so you've been able to view it. I have moved back to Cloud CMA out of the presentation, and by clicking on CMA, notice all the different presentations that have been created. You then see multiple pages as you have them created. You then have the option of viewing like we just did, put it into presentation mode where you then have the ability to scroll through with your tablet, and just with swiping, you move through that presentation. When your client says, yes, I want a copy of it, you don't need to print it out. Just simply email it to them. And you also have the ability to share. Notice here at the top, it gives me information about Randy, those private notes that I had. That way, as I'm looking at each of my CMA pieces, I can then see the notes I made to myself to help me understand some of the key factors or urgencies related to this presentation. And with that in place, you now have your CMA pre uh, created. Now that you've had an opportunity to see what the CMA looks like in the view mode, let's take a look at the CMA presentation in the present mode. To do that, let me just go ahead and click on present. We now have what you're going to be seeing as you use your tablet to present the CMA. Let me go ahead and step through each of the pages. Where I'm using the arrow in the bottom right hand corner, that would be the same as if you're swiping with your tablet. So here is the map that we saw. Again, icons across the bottom to tell you whether it's active, sold, or the subject property. We're going to show you the sold listings. So here's a particular property. We can now scroll down on through each of these different pages of the property. We can scroll back up and see more. As we go through each of the different properties, again, we have the ability to scroll down Seeing the pictures, if we want the additional pictures, this would be them at the bottom of the page as we continue to scroll down. Using the arrow on the right hand side, we can immediately move over to the next property and we can continue through each property and as interest is there, we can again scroll on down and see the details. Let me move right on through the properties. Again, this would be a simple swipe with your, uh, on your tablet. Now we can see our active properties. Again, you say uh, have the same information available for each of the properties. Here we get into some statistics. We have Zillow information available. This can be removed in your report setup. Again, we've got some pricing factors to consider the next step. Distribution of commissions, intelligent pricing, intelligent pricing for timing, and then a thank you. Again, it's very simple and easy to use. Just a simple swipe with your tablet is an easy way to present it. Or like I'm doing with your laptop computer, you can step right on through what you have in your presentation. From any tab inside Cloud CMA, be it the CMA tab, the Buyer's Tour tab, the Property Report tab, or the Flyer tab, you'll find a Help button here at the top. It's just to the right of Sign Out and also where you set up your settings for Cloud CMA. By clicking on Help, Cloud CMA brings you to their Help site. Their Help site is rich with different videos on how to use Paragon. Let's look at the Getting Started videos, and I'm going to click on View All. As we scroll down through the different pages, you're going to see how to use Cloud CMA from different tools. Let me go ahead and click on Page 2, and notice where it says Creating Your First CMA from Paragon MLS. 
Continuing on down, you're going to see creating your first buyer's tour from Paragon MLS. Moving over to page three, moving down, you'll see creating your first flyer from Paragon MLS and creating your first property report from Paragon MLS. These are quick, concise videos that help you learn how to use Paragon and Cloud CMA together. I recommend them to you to help you better learn how to use Paragon and Cloud CMA together. I want to thank you for watching our Cloud CMA recorded webinar. Success to you as you use Paragon and Cloud CMA. Thank you and have a good day.